good to see you. So what brought you to Hardball? Uh, American University. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Dan Joseph with MRC TV. Today, people are lined up on Wisconsin Avenue in Washington, D.C. to see Chris Matthews in what is sure to be a hard-hitting interview with President Obama. Well, let's play hardball. Let's do um, it. I'm going to go down the line and I'm going to find out if these young people could ask President Obama something, what they would ask. I'd be asking him how he's handling climate change and what he's going to be doing in the next couple of years on climate change issues. I would probably ask him about the possibility of actually getting the Iran deal through the Senate. I think that it's a wonderful, wonderful step forward for international relations. I want to ask to what extent um, is the criticism surrounding the Affordable Care Act actually based on fact and to, or to what extent is it based on personal animosity towards the president? Mm, very interesting. Isn't that kind of a loaded question? I mean, of course. I'm asking about the Hobby Lobby case and the birth control mandate and how employees and these companies will be covered if those companies are not required to fulfill the basic standards of the ACA and let their employees be have birth control covered right. in an affordable rate. I'm going to ask the president, you know, how he plans to continue uh, dealing with the, the issue of student debt. Drone strikes overseas and basically what his cue is for decreasing the drones, the drone strikes and or stopping them all together. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, not tar sands. Why did you decide to come by where the president's speaking dressed in a giant polar bear outfit? <laughs> Uh, just to bring awareness and uh, visibility to the what's going on uh, with the Keystone Pipeline. I'm hoping to ask about the current discussions in Congress about the immigration reforms. I actually want to talk to him about how our generation is um, often dubbed the entitlement generation and with things such as the provision in the Affordable Care Act where students are allowed or children, young adults are allowed to stay on their parents health insurance until they're 26. Um, isn't that furthering that idea? How are we supposed to be independent when um, the president is providing provisions like that? Shouldn't he be pr promoting um, independence with people our age, especially um, being saddled with the debt we're going to be saddled with? I was looking to ask about domestic drone usage because we've seen with Amazon rolling out their drone delivery system. Right. To see if there's a plan to have some sort of comprehensive policy for domestic drone use because we've had the issue of having drone surveillance and military use drones within domestic airspace and figuring out if there is some sort of policy or where they want to go with that. The president has really fallen in the polls, particularly among younger people. Why do you think that is? It might be a variety of reasons, but um, I don't know. I still. The you still love him? Yeah. I don't know if you could say that he's hurting in the polls. I mean, Congress is definitely much lower. And I think a lot of people, their problem is really just they didn't necessarily fully know what was happening and heard it from a whole bunch of scattered news sources. So then when it actually started happening, they were like, oh my gosh, my health insurance is gone. Because we're so informed like with social media and stuff like that, it's hard to see what his stance is on probably anything. Really, I think it's trust and I think that like, we all were for him in the beginning, and I mean, for me personally, I'm still on his side, but I think that we need more convincing, I think we need more explanation. I think it has a lot, of, a lot to do with perception. Mm -hmm. I think it has to do with, uh, we as a generation, we're kind of hyper-informed, so we have, you know, all of this information at our fingertips, and we don't necessarily know what is true and what is not, and I think because of that, we don't know where he stands on a lot of things. Wow, so you think that the perception is there's so much out there that young people can't differentiate between what's true and what's not. Absolutely. Do you think any of that could come from the administration itself? I think it's possible. The healthcare.gov didn't help his case in a lot of ways um, because a lot of the things that were said turned out to be kind of true. Do you still trust them? I, I mean, I need to see the proof. I need to see it written down. I got to see it being implemented. I definitely think that it's a lot of reverb from the website, the healthcare website. I definitely think that it's gotten better, it's improved, there's still a lot of room for improvement. I think that it's a temporary drop, I don't think it's anything permanent like we saw in Bush's second term. I don't think the, uh, the ACA rollout has really worked uh, particularly well and that hasn't helped oh, I'd say lot. that's a pretty safe statement. Do you think it's going to get more popular as it, oh, it yeah, starts, definitely. Most even definitely. if like the employer mandate wipes out a lot of people's health insurance? I think it's definitely going to get more popular okay. next year. Yeah. The statement of if you can, if you like your health care, you can keep it. It wasn't true. He admitted it. It happens. You think Chris Matthews can throw out of hardballs at Obama today? You know, just based on his show, uh, I would say possibly not. But like, uh, it's but, gonna be softball with Chris yeah, Matthews. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you think Chris Matthews is gonna be tough on him today? Oh, absolutely. I don't. Is there something specific you want to get at him? I mean, kind of the impact retroactively, as well as um, larger caps on U visas, as well as T visas, and kind of the uh, modifications on VAWA petitions. 
Wow. I mean, do you think he knows enough about those particular things in order to answer your question? I would hope so. He's the president of the United States. So. I think that things are going to definitely improve after the 2014 elections. Uh, okay. I, would, I would predict that after that, we'll probably lose a little bit of the Republican obstructionism that we've seen in the past. Are you hot in there? No, it's actually pretty comfortable. Pretty nice. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Out, I feel so. like I should be like up here. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'm like talking to your neck. It's a it's a polar bear. Okay, we didn't expect this. We didn't prepare for this.